Hello there, uh, my name's Anthony Pelly and I farm on the Pressure Estate in Hampshire and I'm a member of the Winchester Downs Cluster Group. The estate is about 1300 acres, uh, it's mixed with about 300 acres of woodland, 300 acres of pasture and the rest is arable. Uh, we mostly grow cereal crops, barley and wheat being the predominant ones. So my family have been farming here for six generations uh, and it was taken on in the late 1920s and uh, we farmed ever since. Pressure is designated as a national heritage asset and we are preserving the tranquility and beauty of this place for the nation. Um, there are a few other places in the country that household names that you might recognise, the likes of Chatsworth and Blenheim. Uh, the joy of the, the cluster group has been that I've been able to meet and basically glean knowledge from my neighbours as well as work with them on projects which by doing it alone I wouldn't be able to achieve but as a group we can achieve on a much larger scale. I think for people walking through this place and watching this online, the key message would be that nothing here really happens by mistake. This is a designed landscape and we are growing nature here in the form of all our conservation plots and so on. And um, it's all been carefully thought out and, and run for generations now. So sustainability for us means diversification uh, and we have fairly broad ranging um, enterprises here from our arable to our livestock behind us. Um, uh, forestry operations, a shoot, um, and significant conservation projects as well. Yes, so we are heavily involved in the high-level stewardship scheme, uh, which has been running for over a decade now. We have a, a variety of projects going on here, from archaeological preservation to floristic margins and parkland creation and restoration, as well as growing seed mix plots for wild birds in the wintertime. So the floristic margins uh, require active management. To get the best out of them, we have to cut them every year or so, or graze them quite tight, and this really brings out the flowers in them. So the woodlands uh, require ongoing management. We, with the sad loss of the ash trees here, we've replaced um, about 7,000 trees with young stock now, as well as bolstering our hedgerows and the woodland edges. Um, and what's been key has been to replace this one species that has fallen foul to this disease with 15 different species of native hardwoods and softwoods. So archaeology wise we have two scheduled ancient monuments uh, which we are preserving in grassland uh, and we also have a rich tapestry of archaeological remains, settlements, a deserted medieval village, Roman temple sites, um, as well as some significant finds here which are dotted around and pressure was quite exceptional in that it's been consistently inhabited and since prehistoric times. I think going forward the big changes we will now be um, really embracing is uh, carbon capture and um, climate credits. Also you know we really need to increase our, our yields to keep up with our competitors in North America and so on um, and we're going to have to really look quite hard at our soil science and um, what's beneath our feet here to get the most out of this land whilst also treading lightly on nature and hopefully preserving that as best we can.